What's going on and welcome on into today's video. We are talking journaling your traits. We actually had a recent video where we covered this, but I want to dive a little bit deeper into a different platform and that is Tradezilla. I want to show you guys how we can use Tradezilla to journal our trades and how to actually use it and take advantage of a lot of the features effectively so that it actually benefits us and our own trading because that's the goal of journaling trades. Now I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step how this works, but for those of you who want to do this on your own, don't want to use platforms like this or other ones, then this that's totally fine. The point of this video is to show you what you could start tracking that could actually make substantial impacts in your own trading when it comes to profitability. So I'll use some examples from my own options trading, which is something that I have been doing the past couple of months and really diving deeper into the data and the numbers as of late to try to understand how I can improve upon this. It's actually been profitable the past couple of months, but I wanna see if I can take that to the next level and uh, get even more profitable. And then how do I size up effectively so that we can start making more money as we've essentially established and shown that we've got a profitable system and a profitable strategy when operated correctly. So when you have an account, and I will leave a link down below this video to Tradezilla. Uh, it'll be one of the first links in the video description box resources section of the channel description. And when you log in, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a page that looks like this. And uh, I currently have it highlighted to the current week that I'm filming this video. Uh, it's a Tuesday and I just finished trading for the day. And I want to take the trades for today and then log them in and track them and do what we need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now upload my trades. And there's a couple ways you can go ahead and do that on Tradezilla. In the top left, there is an add trade. We're on the dashboard page. There's an add trade section. Okay. We could sync our broker, which I haven't actually done. I've been uploading the files, which seems easy enough, but I could just sync my broker, which maybe is something I'm going to do, or I can manually add trades. Now the thing with manually adding trades, you could do this, but is there going to be a chance or how many times are you going to go in here and, and, you know, not log certain trades, log other ones, right? So you could, you know, and that's where it can get a little confusing or a little bit counterproductive, if you will, if you know that, you know what, I shouldn't have taken that trade, so I'm not going to log that one, right? You shouldn't be doing that, right? You need to log all this stuff. And so broker sync or the file upload is easiest. I have been uploading a CSV file because Webull, is great and allows me to do that. So I have called this account my Webull PA account, and then I have Webull selected as the brokerage. So I will now upload the files that I download from Webull, and I'll show you really quick. They've actually show you how to or tell you how to do this, um, but I've done this on my phone. I go to the, the app and I go over to the history, pull up today's trading logs, download that file. And here's what happens. Webull will send me an email. I will then download the CSV file. They give you three files. The options record is what I'm looking at because I'm trading options in this example uh, or for these trades today. And then I'm gonna go to my downloads and I'm gonna drag and drop that guy right on in. So now what we're gonna see is for this week, what I have selected here, you can see the month PLs uh, on the top. But for this week, we have a, tr a three trade day, six bucks. Essentially it's break even uh, is how today ended up going. But now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna log this. So we have a highlight on the top right this week. And so it gives me kind of my P&L, expectancy per trade, profit factors, win rates, average win loss, all that stuff uh, per the trades. Now I have my recent trades, any open positions, which I have none. I don't hold anything overnight here. And then inside of today, I can click on today and then I have more detailed views of the three trades. We essentially started the day off with a loss on IWM, came back with a win on Tesla, made that back in a few bucks, so technically just a few bucks more, and then we had a break-even trade on NVIDIA, and so that's how the day finishes up. I'm gonna call it break-even uh, for all intents and purposes here. That's essentially what it was. But now, great, we got this information, cool. I can now view the details. If I click on view details, I have this that'll open up, drop down menu and now we've got more information. So I'm gonna go ahead with this piece next. Then at the, or in a few minutes, we're going to get to what I think is really, really cool about Tradezilla. And they're continuing to kind of bring out more features and stuff uh, as time goes on, which is awesome. And I'm super pumped to see what else they're gonna to bring to the table um, going forward. 
But now inside of this, I can go into each individual trade. Now, see, here's where it gets pretty cool. So inside the trade, check this out. There is so much, so much you can customize, so much you can track. They will have the chart of the trade on TradingView. They'll have this chart popped up on the screen. You scroll down, they'll have the chart and the price action of the option contracts that I selected to trade. And then they'll have my running PL. So I can go back in time and see, you know, okay, did this, you know, was I green stripe taking profits? You know, what was going on? Check the charts. I can replay it. Like it, this is awesome. Awesome. So that by itself is cool. Here's where I can then come in here and set my profit targets, set my stop losses. If I trade that way, I can have my planned R multiples. All that will be populated based on the stop loss and targets. I can add a setup. So in this case, I could look at this setup and say, well, I was looking at, uh, really, this was more so a downside um, low of day break. Uh, also, it was yesterday's low break. So I can create a custom setup for that. And if I don't have one here, I can create one, right? So let's just say low of day um, break down is what I'm looking for, right? And add that as a tag. And then I can add my mistakes here. Uh, I could then go custom, add in custom tags and whatnot. Uh, was, you know, if I wanted to create new tags, or if I wanted to tag it a different way, I can do that. And the purpose of doing this is now I'm able to, in a second, go back and track this. So you'll see what I mean here in a second. So let's say mistakes on this trade. There really wasn't a mistake. I think uh, that realistically I could have, I shouldn't have stopped. I should have let things play out for a few more minutes because this was right around the VWAP and I probably would have worked. The trade would have worked. As you see, I ended up stopping out it went like a, t a touch higher and then it funneled down and blew out low of the day and pretty much got the targets I was looking for. I was looking for towards 188. It got to 188.09. So in the perfect world, right, this was something that I, I there was a little bit of a fake out maybe involved here above above the VWAP uh, and whatnot. So I can add that in. I can rate my trade. You know, what would I rate the trade and all that. Now, inside of this, um, this is great. But if there's more information that you want to add or you want to add your own images and stuff, great. Screenshot your charts and toss them in there because you can have your own custom lines, your own indicators and stuff that you can sh so you can look back on. Highly would recommend you do that. Um, but it's going to take too long for the explanation here. Now, in this case, I had really what I should have done here was I should have played contracts that were a little bit less volatile. So should have or I could have I could just make some bullet points. Okay. Um, played next week contracts instead. Five minute close. We could have looked at a five min close over VWAP for the stop loss to avoid fake out. Okay. And so this is just stuff that I'm going to write to myself in this example, uh, how I can, you know, improve or what did I do? Uh, you can make this however you want. You can customize this. You can make sections. You can line this up however you see fit. So maybe what you have is kind of a custom template that you want to break down and say, okay, here are the good, here's the bad. And then at the end, you know, was this a trade that was worthwhile? Boom. Yes or no. Great. And then, then you have that data to go back to. So just like that. Awesome. Right. This is going to give us a lot of information as we speak. Uh, we can even hide the P and L's, all that stuff. We don't want to show that, which is cool. There's also a trade replay feature, which is really, really cool. So if I were to jump into this, I can go into my recent trades and let's say I want to go back that IWM trade. We can actually literally replay this trade when I got in and the whole deal, right? So it has time and sales here, has a level two. It has my information up on the left-hand side, how much I lost, my cost, the P&L, the percentage ROI, the amount of contracts that I currently or I personally traded on this trade. And uh, this is really, really cool. So it's showing me kind of what's going on minute by minute on the charts. And I can change this and adjust this overall. It's on 10x speed. If I want to go to like, let's say 20x speed to speed things up, you can kind of see how this is going to play out. So watch this play out. Yeah, let me go to even 30x speed just to really speed this guy up. So you'll see that I ended up getting in on this trade, not right at the open. I let the open play out. I let the market kind of start up. Let some price action kind of play out. We saw some movement to the downside after the open and it's 8.30 my time, which is central time. We got this push to the downside and this I believe is where I started to get interested. And I believe this is where I ended up getting in on IWM. It was breaking down below low of the day. Boom, there's the entry, the little arrow. There's the entry point. 
okay? So here I am, here I am, and then I'm gonna watch this guy come back up and I'm gonna get stopped out or I'm gonna stop out shortly after this pop to the upside. Um, I can replay this, go back, boom, there's the exit. There's the stop loss and then see what happens. It goes just north of my stop loss and then it starts to roll over and then boom, movement to the downside would have been back in the green shortly after and boom. So this looks like a situation where maybe my stop loss was in the wrong place. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was a fake out. Maybe there's just, it's inevitable. There's gonna be trades like this. There's no way for me to know, but it's good stuff to know. And I can of course replay the trades which is a massive, massive feature here on Tradezilla. Okay, so now I go down to the report section and it's gonna show me my, my numbers for this week. There's a lot more data here. Here is where we can get into the deep details uh, of Tradezilla and start to kind of figure out what's going on. Because each trade, it's great, we can journal. That's kind of just like journaling our own trades. Now, of course, there's more features. Maybe this is more advanced than your standardized or your own trading journal, right? But for the most part, okay, cool. But now we can start to see things track super easily in the detailed set tab, and we can get a lot more data out of this. That overview was great, by the way. We can come back to that in a second. But I can go back and I can see performance by day of week right here. I can see performance during the weeks, months, all that stuff. The time as in when was I trading? So it shows me that earlier in the day, first half hour, I'm not good or I haven't been good. After that, I've been much better. So avoid that first half hour, and then there's much better trading to come. The more data that you have in here, the better. So it's really, really useful stuff. Then it shows you things like trade duration. You can look at your trade duration, and you can actually see, okay, when I hold trades for a few minutes, then I tend to get stopped out. When I hold trades for 30 minutes to an hour, I tend to have winners. And that's kind of like the optimal time, which means that the trade works, it goes my direction, I'm taking profits, or maybe I'm scaling out, boom. So great. Then I can have things like setup. So for example, my low of the day breakdown was the only one that I logged for this given week. And that shows me that I'm losing. But what's great about this is that if you trade two to three setups, and I would highly recommend you go about this, this route, you can easily track which setups are working, what's not, and then go back to different time frames, go back to different months of the year and say, Hey, during these months, this setup was working great. During these months, it wasn't. And so now you've got more data to play off of to make the proper decision in your own trading and investing, mostly trading in this case, uh, going forward, right? So this is great stuff. Then I have the mistakes section, the tags, and I can see, hey, I am making, you know, or I've got a lot of fake outs or I'm, you know, impatient or I'm, you know, stopping out too soon. I'm holding, I'm not holding long enough. If these are common mistakes, then that's something that you can look to in your next trades, try to correct, right? So awesome, awesome stuff. There's even more that goes into it in terms of options. It shows you my performance uh, in terms of my days from expiration. It shows you um, how many times I'm, or what contracts I'm trading, generally speaking. Uh, risk profiles by R multiples, if you are logging those. Wins, losses, uh, we can compare different trades, different signals. Uh, market behavior. So it's saying, how do you do when the market's down, up? And so this might be great data for you to say, hey, I'm really good when the market's down, you know, on a given day. And when the market's up, I'm not. Maybe there's a bias there that I got to go back and correct. Or maybe that's data that you say, hey, that's fine. If that's just me, that's my personality, and that's my system, that's my style, well, I'm going to trade heavier size on days where the market's red, and I'm going to trade lighter size on days when the market's green. If you, if that's what the data is telling you. So awesome, awesome stuff. Back to the overview. You're gonna get a lot more breakdown of the details here. So for example, um, you can add in, you know, number of winning trades, losing trades, largest profit trade, largest loss, average hold time, it'll tell you. Uh, and so you get a, a good understanding that you can back your way into. So for example, your average hold time, if you know your average hold time is an hour and you're in this trade, that's been two, three, four hours. And you say, hey, my average hold time on losing trades is never, is when it's over two hours, I tend to lose, right? You're, you're lining yourself, maybe I should stop out and I should just exit this trade now and move on to the next one. It just didn't work in the time frame that I was looking for, right? So this is all data that you can start to kind of build out. Um, going beyond that, things like your trade expectancy uh, and maybe your average win, average PL and stuff like that could be great to kind of predict or at least generally kind of plan out your future 
uh, and to give you some some good looks for maybe your goals. If you know that on average, your average day is 67 bucks. Now, again, this is factoring in, right? There'll be red days, there'll be green days, there'll be break even days. But when you have more data, the longer you play this out, if your average day is for example, $67, well, that means that if there's, let's say 20 something days in a month that you can trade, that means that you know a reasonable target for example, could be maybe something like 13, 14, 1500 bucks in this example for me. That's what this is telling. That's what my system is telling me. And then as I can do that and meet those goals month after month after month, now I can start sizing up. And now I can kind of track my trades, size up, see if that affects me mentally, journal, log, go from there. With that said, there's more to it. There's certainly more to it. But for in a nutshell, that is what I have found to be some of the biggest benefits and the biggest pieces to TradeZella that have actually helped me in my own trading. So I'm curious what your thoughts are. If you've tried TradeZella, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't and you want to give them a try, we'll leave a link to them down below in the video description box. One of the first links down there. There's other platforms you can use. We had a recent video where we actually talked about a different platform, or you can use your own journal. You can use your own notebook, make your own Excel spreadsheets. Do this yourself. You want to save a few bucks because these platforms do cost money. But I think they're very well worth your time. And again, you can also potentially have some of these been uh, act as write-offs come tax time, but make sure you talk to a tax professional when it comes down to that time. Thanks so much. Make sure you are subscribed here to the TC Trading Channel. Hope this video was helpful. Thumbs up the video if it was, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.